happy almost Halloween. My love's happy almost Halloween. What? Happy almost Halloween. Miss Mel is a huge jack-o'-lantern today. What? Am I a huge pumpkin? Do I look like the pumpkins you've been decorating and carving with your parents this week? What? <laughs> it's super awesome. Because last week and this week, with our Halloween story times, we've been dressing up in our costumes. And my loves, <clears throat> Miss Mel, Christina, and Bunny, right, Christina? want to remind you all, if you have Halloween costumes, you're sharing in your school classrooms, your virtual classrooms, and you're dressing up Thursday and Friday this week, you know, feel free to share those pictures, my loves. We want to see you in your amazing holiday Halloween outfits. And you, when you share them in our comments for story time, all of our friends out there get to see them and get inspired by all of you. So, my loves, share those costumes because we've been sharing our costumes the last two weeks. We've been having so much fun and guess who's coming to visit today guess who's coming to visit yes we said it carl 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 what who's riding on your back carl oh my god <laughs> it's bat the cat what <laughs> what bat the cat is oh big hugs for everybody oh big hugs out to you my loves we're going to give you big virtual hugs. Ready? Here we go. Oh, squeeze everybody out there, my love. Squeeze them. Let them feel your hugs all the way over wherever they are. We got Bat the Cat 2 joining us today. What? Hello, Bat the Cat. <laughs> and, and that's Carl's costume. Bat the Cat is wearing Carl today. <laughs> what? And we are going to read Splat the Cat. What was that? Can you say it with me? Splat that cat. What was that? What? We're going to read that story today. And every time, right, Christina, right, Carl, right, Bat? Every time in our story, you hear Miss Mel say, what was that? I want you to say it loud with me, okay? All right, here we go. Let's, Carl, can I put, the, oh my goodness, Bat the cat is having so much fun riding. <laughs> How about we settle you down for story time today? Shall we listen to our story? All right. And remember, at the end of our story today, Miss Mel and Christina, Bunny, and Carl are going to share some awesome story time crafts with you all that glow. What? We are going to have, we're not going to have just one craft today. We're going to have two crafts today. What? What? Raise the roof. Two crafts today. We had so much fun. <laughs> And we are going to have an awesome time. So let's dive into our story, Splat the Cat, What Was That? And that is based on the creation of Rob Scotton. What? Splat the Cat, What Was That? Can we say that together? What was that? Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. What was that? What? And now in our Splat the Cat story today, each page, almost every page we go to, has a hidden door. And we're going to open that door together and see what was that. <coughs> Ready? Here we go. Let's go, my love. Let's dive right in. <laughs> get, your, get your favorite costume, whatever you're wearing it, and dive right into your Halloween story. Splat the Cat. Ready? Here we go. I need, to help. I need your help. Miss Mel, teamwork makes a dream work. I need your help. What was that? Let's see it together. Ready? What was that? What? Okay. Let's see what they're doing today. <clears throat> the tricking in the treaty was almost done for the night. Splat the cat only had the old house up on the hill to visit. <clears throat> let's go, cried Spike. Uh, let's no go, said Splat. It's too spooky. What was that? But Seymour had already scurried up to the old spooky house. We have to find Seymour, cried Splat. Oh, no. I hope there are no ghosts. Oh. Shall we see? Okay, let's see. Seymour! shouted Splat. Trick or treat, shouted Spike. Ooh. What was that? Ready? Let's do it together. What was that? Ooh. As they went down the hallway, 
They still didn't find out what the noise was. Splat and Spike slowly crept down the hallway, slowly, slowly. Full of creepy paintings today. Are we being watched? Asked Splat. Kind of sounds like my tummy when I'm hungry. <laughs> That's funny. They heard a spooky sound. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. Ready? Let's say it together. Ready? I'll count of three. One, two, three. What was that? <gasps> Yikes! Is that a witch in the closet? <gasps> what was that? Oh, no. It's not a witch in that closet. Nope, that's an old broom closet coat rack with silly, silly stuff. That's not. That's not scary. They searched the dining room. Seymour! They shouted. They're still looking for Seymour the little mouse. <clears throat> they heard a spooky sound. It's Miss Mouse coming again. Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. What was that? They said. Grumble, 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 grumble. Oh no, Seymour, where are you? They cried and they said, What was that? <gasps> they heard even spookier sounds of the knight in shining armor. Oh no, Scott said, What was that? Oh. And they heard another spooky sound. Grumble, 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 grumble. Seymour, where are you? They cried. Oh no! Woo! Was shrieking so scared. What was that? Splat shrieked. Wait for me! Now, in the lobby, Splat leaned against an old statue. What happened? A secret door, cried Splat. What? That's amazing. They found a secret passageway. Wait, it's dark in here. Splat, Splat, where are you? Where are you? There's a... What? Oh my goodness, they're ducks. They screamed and ran away. Oh no, scary ducks. <laughs> scary ducks, crack and a crack. Is that a monster in the cellar? Oh no! One, two, three. What was that? Oh no, that's not scary. That's the old furnace. It just has a grumble, grumble sound. That's not scary. No. Ooh, more spooky sounds were coming from the hide the door. Uh oh. What was that? Ooh, it's a ghost! Oh no, it's a ghost! So Splat went to reach for the sheet on the ghost. <gasps> Seymour! What did Seymour do? He tried to scare him. Seymour, that was a record player with a spooky sound you're making. What? You tried to scare me. You didn't do it. No, we knew who it was. Now you gave us quite a fright, Seymour. Yeah, said Splat. For a moment, we thought there was a ghost. Oh, dun, dun, dun. A ghost. Happy Halloween. <laughs> you gave us quite a fright. Oh, my goodness. Happy Halloween from Splat Seymour and all the whole gang, my loves. Happy Halloween. Splat the cat. What was <laughs> so that was a super fun story today, my loves. We are going to continue our fun today by making Miss Mel promise two crafts today. Not just one, 
two crafts today. Now these crafts, we they can be amazing. Yesterday, we made our monster mass out of our printables and we have, if you wanna check on how to do that, check on our video yesterday and the link is attached to the video and it's super duper awesome. Now any of these videos we share also on LibCal, Ms. Mel has the links right in LibCal too, right on our uh, page, our library page. So you know what, you can check those out too. They're super duper awesome. And today, the first link we have that you can click on up in our video feed today is making our jack-o'-lantern paper lanterns. What? These are so super awesome. Now, if you click on that first link today, it's going to take you right away to some awesome link that is in there to make these paper jack-o'-lanterns. But with each craft we do, Miss Mel is going to show you how to do it. Now, and you can also make out of white paper ghosty paper jack-o'-lanterns. We're going to do our awesome, awesome paper jack-o'-lantern today. We're going to show you how to do that today. So, Miss Mel has her scissors. Now, this craft, you're going to need scissors. You're going to need construction paper, although Miss Mel always likes to teach you different ways. You and your parents, different ways you can use what you have around the house and the materials you have around the house so that it can be easier and more manageable to do. So Ms. Nell's gonna show you, if you don't have construction paper to make these paper jack-o'-lanterns or paper ghosts, you can use regular white paper, which we did, just a regular size white piece of paper for our ghosty we made. And you know what? We did that with regular paper, and if you're doing it for your jack-o'-lantern, you can color your jack-o'-lantern orange, you can, with a crayon or a marker or a colored pencil, so cool, you can color the paper and do the same exact thing. So we're gonna use construction paper today. You're gonna wanna take your regular piece of paper and you're gonna wanna fold it lengthwise in half. Fold, fold, fold. Then, now remember, whenever we use scissors, my loves, we always should have our parents with us for it because they're very sharp. So Miss Mel's gonna show you very close up, right, Christina? We're gonna show them together. We're gonna show, we're gonna cut not all the way, but just down just a little bit. We're gonna cut all the way across. Okay, so that your paper, we're not gonna cut all the way, but like we did, we're gonna cut just a little bit, just so we almost reach the top of the paper. And then we're gonna fold our paper jack-o'-lantern and we are going to tape it. We're gonna use our tape and we're gonna tape right here and we're gonna tape right here, okay? And then we're gonna be able to have our paper jack-o'-lantern. Now you could cut another piece of orange or white paper. If you cut a piece of white paper, you can color it and we can tape our little handle with our other piece of long strip of paper. We're gonna tape that on both sides. So after you tape it on this side and you tape it on this side, you can make your mask draw out some triangles on a regular piece of white paper or black construction paper if you have it. We're going to draw two triangles. You see those two triangles? Can we count them together? One, two, and we're going to actually have a third triangle. Miss Mel almost forgot. We're going to draw three triangles. Now you can color these triangles, draw them on a piece of paper, color them, or do them on a piece of black construction paper and cut them out together and draw a little smile, a jack-o'-lantern smile. And we can tape our triangles and our jack-o'-lantern smile on our paper jack-o'-lantern. And you know what? We're gonna do this together. And then you have a paper jack-o'-lantern. How cool is that? What? And then you can hang these. If you put some string, you can hang your paper jack-o'-lanterns and you can make them glue. <laughs> you can make them glue. What? Your paper jack-o'-lanterns and your ghosty jack-o'-lanterns. What? Your ghosty lanterns. What? And Miss Mel's going to show you in a bit how they glow. Now, the second craft we're going to do today, which the second link is in our video Facebook feed, we're gonna show you how to make, if you have paper plates, now you can use whatever paper plates you have at home. Now you can color these paper plates orange, like we did with our craft, we colored our craft paper plate orange. Now what you wanna do is you wanna cut them, put them together, sandwich them together, take the outsides, after you've colored them all orange, 
put them together so they look just like this. Okay, and we're going to cut them right at the bottom, just a little bit so our paper jack-o'-lanterns can stand. See how we cut that? Just a little bit at the bottom. So our paper jack-o'-lanterns, you got that, Christina? So our paper jack-o'-lanterns can stand. Now, before you connect these two pieces of paper, you see how they are? These two paper plates, before you connect them with tape or glue or glue dots, we want to draw on one of the pieces of paper plate our triangles for our eyes and our nose. So we have three triangles we're gonna draw today. And then we're gonna draw our wonderful mouth on our paper plate. Now you're gonna need some help. Our parents are gonna help us cut these triangles out of our paper plate, right? But we always have our parents with us when we use scissors, my loves, right? So we're gonna cut. After you draw your triangles, your three triangles, and your wonderful smile on your jack-o'-lantern, is one twofer there. Twofer, yeah, it's a baby twofer. <laughs> he brushes it very well. <laughs> and you are gonna need some help from your parents cutting this face out of our one, on our one paper plate. Now, after you've cut your face out on our jack-o'-lantern face, we are going to attach with glue or tape or whatever we have to attach these rubber cement, we're gonna attach these paper plates together. You see that? And then we're gonna have our face, our jack-o'-lantern face right on there. And we, on a piece of green paper, or you don't have that green paper either, right, Christina? You can do regular white paper. We can color it green and we'll have a green leaf. You could put, you could tape those or glue those right on the top. Now Miss Mel's gonna turn out the lights. Okay, you ready? We're gonna have so much fun with this. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're gonna turn out the lights as low as we can get. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Our jack o' lantern is glowing. Oh my goodness. Christina, stand on the other side. We block some light. Can we block some more light today? Oh. Whoa. Now it doesn't glow, but you know what Miss Mel uses to glow? If you find any glue stick, uh, uh, glow sticks, glue sticks, <laughs> glow sticks at the dollar store, we can totally make these glow. Miss Mel's gonna try to do that. Let's see if we can make sure. Make sure this glows. Okay, we're gonna try to do the lights a little bit more. And we're gonna make it glow. Ready? Ooh, it's glowing, it's glowing, what, we're gonna glow, what, oh, what, and then we take our glow stick out, and we could put our glow stick right in there, now this will glow even more, we took our glow stick, and it glows even more when you put the glow stick in there, what, that is super cool. Now you can get a glow stick and tape it right on the inside. You see it's not glowing now. Put your glow stick in there. Oogie boogie. Ooh. Is that glowing or what? What? It's our glowing pumpkin. It's our glowing jack-o'-lantern. Now what you can do is too, the dollar store has amazing glow stick bracelets and necklaces. You can also attach one on the inside. After you and your parents crack it, you can attach them in the inside with some tape and make it glow. So you can have a ton of these glowing around the house. Your glow stick jack-o'-lanterns. Now you can also, with these paper jack-o'-lanterns that we made, paper lanterns, you can also put a glow stick inside of them and make them glow. What? We're gonna go in real tight. What? You can also put a glow stick inside of them and you could put a glow stick in your most awesome ghosty. And when it gets darker, this is gonna show up a lot more. So your glow stick can go in there too, my loves. And when you hang them, now when you put them in your paper jack-o'-lanterns, your glow sticks, you can tape them in your paper jack-o'-lanterns and you tape them in your paper plate jack-o'-lantern. What? Awesome! These are so cool, my loves. So these are just more fun, awesome crafts you can make for your awesome, awesome, awesome house and have so much fun decorating the house. It's so cool and have fun making them together with your brothers and sisters. They're so awesome. We'll show our jack-o'-lantern again. 
Here we go. Yes, I'll blow it. And then you put a glow stick inside. Ooh. What? So my loves have so much fun. Miss Bell's going to turn the light back on. <laughs> I have had so much fun with everybody all last week. Every time we meet together, I have, we have so much fun. But we had extra fun this week and last week for Halloween story time. Now remember, Miss Mel has more Halloween picture book recommendations for you. Christina and I do after our story time today. So that's a post directly after our story time today. Because every week, whatever our theme is, we share some awesome picture book recommendations. Whoa, it's so awesome. Hop, hop, whoa, down the line. <laughs> that you can pick up through curbside pickup at your local library. So check those out, my loves. They're super, super awesome. And Monday, this coming Monday, we have, we're going to start out Monday with an awesome yoga story time. So we have good morning yoga, and we're going to have start out the week with the most awesome stretches and story time for our Monday yoga session. So it's going to be so cool. And then next Tuesday and Wednesday, we have our awesome baking and comfort food week story time with some awesome crafts and recipes. It's going to be super fun filled with a lot of surprises. So you're going to, we're going to have an awesome time together, my loves. And next Thursday, yes, I said it, next Thursday is our second book and cook where Miss Mel's going to show you how to make some awesome baked goods. They are so cool. Kid-friendly. They're super cool. Use them for a lot of different meals. They're so easy. They're semi-homemade. You can do together. And then after that, book and cook, we're going to share some awesome recipes you can have fun with. So, my loves, we are going to have a packed week next week. We are going to still continue to have our amazing time as we always do. And I want to wish everyone a safe and fun Halloween! My loves, happy Halloween! We love you all so much! And remember, share your costumes whenever you're wearing them. Share your costumes in our comments. Show all our friends out in virtual world what you're wearing, my loves. Give some inspiration and love, as we always do. So share those costumes, my loves. And if you make any of these awesome crafts, feel free to share those as well, my loves. We want to see what you're doing in your house for Halloween. Have a fun time. Have a safe time. Miss Mel loves you all, and have a great, great weekend. Woo! Happy Halloween!